All right, welcome to my October 16th live item shop review video. We've got a DC item shop according to the news feed here. It says Mayhem, Speed, Merciless, Agile, a collection of DC outfits and gear have returned. So before we get to the item shop, I just wanted to mention, I just did an unboxing video. Epic Games sent me a package for Nightmares related and me and my family unboxed it. It was amazing. That's the first thing Epic has ever sent to me and I couldn't be more excited. Thank you so much, Epic Games, incredible company. I'm beyond words. I mean, it was an amazing gift to be sent. It's got some Fort Nightmares leaks, some information in it. Very, very cool. If you wanna see that, I will link it in the outro. There should be a little link in the top right of this video as well, as I mentioned it right here. But let's get to the item shop and check out what we got. Holy smokes, we do have a DC shop. Looks like the Wonder Woman bundle is back. I did a full gameplay and review on pretty much every single DC skin there is. So if you want to check any of these out in depth or see the gameplay, just type in whatever the skin is and Tabor Hill into YouTube and it should pop up. Pretty cool. You got this awesome, one of the best loading screens in the game right here. Amazing. And she comes with a built-in emote, right? Let's try it out. Here we go. Maybe. Here we go. You know what? I was beyond excited for this, and I honestly don't think I've ever seen Wonder Woman in-game. Nobody's ever ran it. This is a solid skin with two different styles. What's the secondary style? Oh yeah, the even more blue one. Just an amazing skin, and I've never seen anyone run it. Isn't that weird? I'm in love with this skin. So there's Wonder Woman. We've got the Death Stroke Zero Bundle. This was an awesome bundle as well. Another one of my favorites, just because it's got some orange in it. You don't really hear too much about Deathstroke. The glider was a little eh, but the pickaxes interact with the sheaths on the back plane, which is amazing. You can buy them individually as well. Then of course we've got Rebirth Harley Quinn, as well as Harley Quinn, the OG, if you will. And she has two different styles. She just recently got a new one right here. Well, you may be thinking, well, what changed? And check out her hair. That's quite literally the only thing that changes. Blue right there and black right there. Isn't that weird? But I prefer the black one. It looks amazing compared to the pink cotton candy one. Harley Quinn's Revenge. This one had a bit of a malfunction when it first came out, but now it's working as intended. Pops open with eliminations and the timer counts down the storm as well. And then he pops out of there. Boom. Pretty sweet. Only 400. The OG Harley Quinn comes with another style if you do the challenges. It's a lighter pinker one right there. She has two different pickaxes. Well worth it in my opinion. The Flash, mm, I like the Flash, but this may be one of the weaker bundles we've had. Now, don't get mad at me for saying that. I'm just saying that in popularity, I don't think this was well received. I like it though. I mean, they did a phenomenal job. Comes with a nice loading screen, a nice quick bite emote that's not built in, which I thought was amazing. So a solid bundle, in my opinion. I was just reading all the feedback on social media and for some reason, not many people like the Flash. So if you don't like the Flash, you probably don't like Black Manta who is Aquaman's nemesis, or one of them at least. I like this, it has a reactive back bling as well. Just an oddly misshapen head and, I don't know, it fits the movies, I liked it. What else we got? I went up and stepped it down. Beast Boy Bundle, this one comes with a transformation emote, love this. Interesting back bling, nice Beast Bat pickaxe, and then the built-in transformation. Cool, almost like a Super Saiyan there. You can buy them individually as well. Catwoman bundle. Long time no see, Catwoman. Well, this is an underrated one in my opinion, but not a lot of people like Catwoman either for some reason. Didn't we get a new and improved Catwoman? Is this built in? I can't remember. No, this is just an emo. They never did come out with that whip though, did they? There's the whip crack. Maybe the new Catwoman's down below. I swear we got a new one. So we got the Batman gear bundle. Comes with the music pack. That's cool. This is one of my favorite music packs, the Cape Crusader. I played it in a video the other day. Bat Signal, all around amazing emote. Martial Arts Master, eh, it's not the best. I don't remember that though. What, what does that have to do with Batman? I don't know, Bat Glider, just okay. Here's the armored Batman Zero Bundle with the Exo Glider, the Batarang Axe. So this is pretty cool too. This is one of the better Batmans that we've had. A little bit of a juggernaut in there. Batman Zero, so between these two, I think the armored one is better, but that's just me. There's the new Catwoman. I knew we had a new one. So this is solid. Got a 
loading screen as well. The gliders are just okay for all the Batmans. Not really a fan of any of those. So here's the Catwoman Zero. Yeah, I think they did a much better job on this one. I like her goggles a lot more at least. And what else we got? Bloodsport. Okay. This was a creepy one. I did enjoy this. And it does come with a multitude of sprays. Not that we can do anything with sprays, but these are his awesome buddies there. The evil squad. Suicide squad, if you will. Cool back bling. Nice pickaxe. Nice wrap. I enjoyed this bundle. Lil Bounce. Ooh, we got some new stuff. Lil Bounce. Please don't be copyrighted. Please. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Look how big the foundation skin. Oh, that's not the foundation skin. The, uh, the fake foundation skin is. That is hilarious. Little Snoop Dogg. Background music as well. I love it. Traversal. <laughs> Jack's going to love this. I should give this to him. Ah, uh, this is a great skin as well. Wait, I didn't buy this last time? Four different styles? Hold on, let's check this out. So she's got an all blue one, kind of like an avatar. Mask on and off. Oh yeah, the mask. I wasn't really a fan of the mask. It's a solid skin though. Definitely season six vibes of chapter two. Back bling doesn't have any styles and it does interact with the back bling that pickaxes do, so that's kind of cool. Okay, now we're moving on to season seven here. The Guernsey. With the missing milk carton. That's cool. Sledge Heifer. This one sounds amazing. 500 for that. Dream and Luminos are back. Yeah, we've seen her a million times, right? Luminos is the male version. Equally as impressive. Astral Axe is a nice pickaxe. Bit expensive though. 1200 The Shard Break. Eh. This one has potential, but it's just not very animated. It can't really match it with a lot of combos other than these two. This is the glider that was free at one point, but not for me because I missed that particular event and I had to buy it. Actually, I think I got gifted it. Snorkel Ops, long time no see. Really enjoy this, even though it's a bit out of place. There's no real water theme anymore. Love the orange on it though. Verge, nah, 800. Mellow Days, I don't own this. Let's listen for a second. Eh, okay, that's probably why I don't own it. A little too mellow for me. Jamboree? Eh, it's okay. Season 7, have a seat. One of my favorite 200 emotes. Works differently depending on if you're a guy or a girl. Kind of cool. Battle Call. Also has a secret version where it'll make a tooting noise. Takes a lot to get it to do that, though. Venom Bundle's still here, if you missed out. Gummy Fish Stick was out yesterday. I didn't really do a review on that. If you'd like to see me do a review on it, let me know, and I will. Tricks and Treats bundle, still here. Amazing. Over 10,000 combinations. The spooky offers include all the soccer skins. I actually bought one of each of these for my upcoming spending spree. Stay tuned for that. Skull Trooper, Skull Ranger, Crypt Cruiser, Reaper, Ghoul Trooper, Brainiac, Big Mouth, and then the Crypt Crashers pack and the Ultimate Reckoning pack, all still here. Pretty solid item shop. I love that DC came back, but what I don't want to see is that these be around for like the next three weeks because that would be so annoying because it's so much to take in. And when I do the reviews, it just gets a bit overwhelming. So I usually just skip over it. But this is the initial one. So we had to cover it all. So if you missed any of these DC skins, grab them while you can. I have no idea how long they're gonna be in the shop, but it's a welcome addition to the shop. And remember, if you want to see me unbox the package that Epic Games sent me, I will link it in the outro. Feel free to check that out. There you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.